What's going on guys, Dragscope Designs here and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to use Therousy in Cinema 4D. So you, you want to go into the description below and uh, download Cinema or Therousy for your Cinema 4D. For this tutorial I'll be using R13 Studio and let's begin. The things I have open right now is just a simple MoGraph and my material pack that you can find uh, on one of my videos, it's a giveaway video. Let's just bring this up a little bit. I have more options. All right, let's go ahead and change this up. Let's change this to drag designs. See how that looks. Zoom, in, zoom out. Let's go ahead and change the font. Let's see. Resurrection. No, we need a we need a clean one. Nope. Um, let's use. Bada -ba -bum. No. Save by zero. Let's just do. Strenuous. Nope. Almost there. We almost got it. We almost got a font. Technique. Nope. Let's see here. Transformers. No, this actually looks good. Alright, so we're gonna use the Transformers movie theme or tech or font. So let's uh let's go ahead and open up the depth a little bit by changing it to about uh, let's say one hundred. Alright, good. So let's go ahead and go to our plugins. Now once you install Therousy, you should have Therousy one point two two R twelve. Now this version of Therousy works with R thirteen and R twelve. And I'm pretty sure, I think it works with any lower ones too. So here we have our Therousy window. Don't need it that big. <laughs> what you're going to basically do is you're going to notice that it will show pieces. I'm going to change mine to 25. 25 is enough for me. I'm going to keep it on random. Now, this is what you can either do if you're using motion design or if you're just doing this for text for graphic work. If you go to dynamic, you can see that if you... Um, when it falls, you can either select if it falls immediately or at a velocity peak or on collision or something. So let's go ahead and break this now. While it's breaking, you're going to have to wait for it to load. It's going to break everything up into 25 little pieces. While you guys are waiting for that, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more tutorials, speed arts, and uh, giveaways and stuff, you know. Also, follow me on Twitter if you guys uh, haven't followed me already. For um, You guys can follow me for latest updates on things I'll be posting or just to socialize with me. I'm on it a lot. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, recently, I've been working on a few backgrounds and stuff for people. I'm going to be working on a recruitment challenge video for my clan channel. It's uh, in the description below. You guys can check it out there. Um. I reached 180 subs today, which I'm very happy about. Uh, thanks to you guys for uh, helping me out with that. <laughs> and I'm really thankful. 200 subs, I'll do something special, I promise you guys. So what you want to do is go ahead and just check all of these down. Alright, so let's go ahead and highlight them all. Go to MoGraph, Effector, and get a random in here. Now when you get a random in here, you know you're gonna notice down here by the effector there's gonna be a strength option the more strength the more it's going to be broken the less strength the less it'll break so I'm gonna set it to about five this looks pretty good so let's, let's uh, get this one here change this to a it's the right one okay do the first one then there we go. Uh, let's add a glow to it. Just a small brightness of a glow. Okay. Let's see here. All of these. Oops, just change the color. 
black. There we go. So let's go back into the random effector. I think I'm going to change it up a bit to there. Let's go ahead and render this out. My render settings are actually pretty, uh, uh, make things render a lot longer than it should. Um, if you guys want to see my render settings, I have it on the preset HDTV 1080p 29.97 frames per second or frames. The width is 1920, the height is 1080, resolution is 72, the uh, film aspect is 1.778, pixel aspect is 1 and 29.97. Save it as a PNG file, use alpha channels so you won't have a, a black background. Multipass leave alone, anti-aliasing, set it to best, 1x1 one one to 4x4. Four four. Leave the same, I'll leave that the same. Add in an ambient occlusion. Add in a global illumination, set the GI mode to IR plus QMC still image, and then get it to diffuse depth. So let's go ahead and render this out. Whew, I got an i3 in my computer, it's pretty slow. <laughs> So guys, uh, comment below while this is rendering out. You know, I always want to know what you guys want to see next. Uh, if you guys want to see some Photoshop tutorials, see Cinema 4D tutorials, you guys want to see manipulations, uh, more background stuff like that, just hit me up in the comments below, or you guys can you know tweet at me. You always send me messages. I'm always interested in reading you guys' messages. Let's see here. This is taking a bit long. All right, guys, we are back. And the render looks fantastic. Alright, so as you guys can see here, you have a nice glow effect with the red text inside. So, thanks you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy Therousy and everything you guys can do with it. Make sure you guys, you know, play around with the settings. You know, don't copy my tutorial exact, you know. Be original, have fun with it, and you know, just go for your dreams. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if this helped you out. Keep subscribing, everybody. 200 subs will be great. Um, don't forget to favorite this video, like, comment if you guys have any questions below, and I'll see you guys next week.